We've seen how our atmosphere can put an end to incoming debris. But space has an even greater killer. Radiation. Charged particles can actually damage our cells, break apart our DNA, and give us cancer. Luckily, we're shielded on Earth by the magnetic field. But if we went to a planet like Mars, it doesn't have a magnetic field to protect us, and so we'd really be in danger. So just how effective is our magnetic field at saving us from radiation compared to Mars? To find out, aerospace engineer Sigrid Close and astronomer Andy Howell are creating their own cosmic shooting gallery. So Andy, we have a target, you have a gun and a bullet. What are you gonna do here today? <laughs> so we're gonna symbolize what it's like to receive solar radiation on Earth. This bullet is gonna represent a charged particle from the sun, and we're gonna shoot this one particle and see what kind of damage it does. <laughs> this lone bullet represents the amount of radiation that can survive the Earth's magnetic field and hit life on our surface. But this small of a dose of radiation doesn't have much of an effect on humans. All right. Okay, so this was meant to simulate one particle here on Earth. So if we want to understand what would happen to an astronaut if they went to Mars, we need more bullets? We need a thousand times more bullets. I'm thinking machine gun. Oh, that sounds scary. <laughs> hey, you got to fire too. <laughs> we got Tommy guns. Each one of these snail drums here holds 50 bullets. Let's right. do it. Andy? Yeah. Are you ready, Andy? Yeah. You ready, Sigrid? Let's do it. Woo! My heart's beating like a rabbit right now. <laughs> Woo! Love that smell. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, <laughs> we did a lot of damage. Yeah, we did. So we put 500 rounds into this thing. If one bullet represents the dose we get on Earth in a year, then 500 rounds represents what we'd get on Mars in only half a year. Exactly. 